incredible. By themselves, people are such frail things. That is why, in times of calamity, they pray for a ship to be saved. Later known as the Age of Chaos, gave birth to a new shepherd. This is his story. After we get through the forest, we should reach the lake. Then, we just have to head down the slope. Got it. But wait a minute. How do you know all this? It's not complicated. I've been collecting information for this very day. On your own? Never told me about it. I don't feel Gramps' domain anymore. That's because we've left the forest. Our adventure officially starts here. First off, we need to find Alicia and let her know she's being targeted. And then, we'll take down that fox eye. It's best we avoid confrontation with Hellions as much as possible. But... I want to avenge Mason just as much as you do. But we're just a Seraph and a human. Neither of us with any power to purify malevolence. Never mind defeating him. Whether we could even drive him off by ourselves is iffy. And we can't rely on Gramps' assistance anymore. You're right, Mikleo. Watch for the pauses between attacks. It's amazing how they can move without arms and legs. Be gone! run into Hellion all of a sudden. What luck. Quite strange. I hope it's just a coincidence. 
Could it be I'm attracting them because they know I can see them? Who can say? It's too early to tell. Look, there's the lake. And there's a huge city. Let's go check it out. have been a coincidence. They're attracted to us somehow. I really feel like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> we'll be just fine. I got us a map. Oh, you mean the one that's in the Celestial Record? It's kind of old, though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. Some kind of trouble? Looks like it. The cart stopped.
the Sparrow Feathers, a traveling caravan of merchants. I'm Agil, the captain. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you, too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. Oh, hey. So if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. Sure seems that way. Yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Yeah! We will. Thanks. Though they really are focused on their cart before drumming up business. <laughs> Saray, there's a dog here. Oh, hi, doggy! Aw, he's so cute. I heard Princess Alicia came through here when she got back to the capital. I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. Princess Alicia, huh? Phew. Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding. A straight-up princess? A princess, a knight, and she explores ruins on the side? How'd she wind up with that gig? Won't know until we ask her. That's true. Besides, Foxy Loxy might be in town waiting for a chance to get at her. Yeah. We've got to let her know. The entry paperwork? Sure, take care of it now, and I'll let you in just as soon as that cart's fixed. All right, I'll be right on it. Hey, everyone. Sorry about the hassle. Well, that was well-timed. Welcome to Lady Lake. is like I can't believe it oh so this is how humans live don't they find it overwhelming wow gosh you think so just remember this isn't a sightseeing trip the real question is do we try to find Alicia first or look for the Fox man so let's have a look around town for now good call let's gather information Son, how about these duds? Made from real silk. My old lady will swap me for it, but they're yours for just 860 gold. Oh, is that cheap? Saray, behind him. <sighs> Should we give it what for? And have everyone think you're attacking the street vendor? You want to tour the inside of a human jail cell? To everyone else, he looks just like an ordinary human. Oh, yeah.
understand now, child. No matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. Shut up, old man. You smell like farts. And stay down! Can't even swing a fist right! That's different. Indeed. We'd best not get involved. Problem. Oh, hey, mister, you smell like you'd be mighty tasty. Hey, let's get out of here. Snacks are done. He's here. No mistake, that's the Fox Man. After him. So Alicia really is the Fox Man's target. Looks like it. He probably retreated for now because of the commotion. that he would be this fast. The dog's still chasing him. We can't let him get away. Ah, it's safe. Looks like he cornered it. Are you ready? Of course.
Your chicken hunting days are over, Fox. So, you're really that eager to die, are you? Stronger than I remember. When we fought him back in Elysia, he must have been weakened by Gramps' blessing. I'll burn you to cinders! Take that! <laughs> Miklio! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. A fitting end for worms who dare to wriggle at a god! I swear, I wasn't... Quiet. Who... Who are you? We will warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of second chances. Understood? Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. I suggest you hurry to the pedestal where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling me this? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. Uh. Hey, are you alright? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by Assassin's Guild. By a what? 
They were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. But more than that, it looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like? What's going on? Hey, I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get to that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. I don't have enough. Hmm, well, got valuables? Something worth money. You're okay with this, Gramps. Whoa, this is one swanky-ass pipe. This is easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget it. I just need your help right now. Well, all right. Works for me. I know you're in a hurry. Let's go. Well, shall we? This is the guy. You good? All right, then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. I appreciate it. Well then, we gotta get back to work. Thanks so much. 